If you ever try to create UI in UFN and test it with controller, there is a chance that you had troubles to make all buttons to work. In this video, I will show you my findings and one workaround which you can easily use in your project. So let's get started. Okay, firstly, I will explain what I found and uh, how you can use this knowledge in your UX and UI design and make it work in controller. So this is a representation of the buttons on the screen. And the uh, blue lines, it's boundaries of them in uh, horizontal or vertical alignment. So what I have found is if buttons not overlap horizontally or vertically in alignment, like for example, like here, button four, not overlap with any button, like button two, button three, and horizontally not with button one. So then it won't work on controller. So with controller, you won't be able to jump between, let's say, button one and button four. And same button one, as you can see, not vertically uh, aligned with button two. So you wouldn't be able to jump. Uh, so probably if you will start uh, with button one highlighted, you will be able only just click on button one with controller and not switch into other buttons. So it's all based on alignment. And uh, this is another slide. This is how it would work. So again, when I'm saying alignment, it doesn't need to be like, for example, button two and button three, they perfectly aligned, right, horizontally. That doesn't need to be. For example, button four, now I put like a little bit lower, and as you can see, lower blue line from the button four, it uh, goes over the button one. That's, that's enough to make them work together. So now you would be able to jump between button one and button four. Same in here, in button one, we see that button one slightly overlap this vertical corridor of the button two. And in, in these designs, so like a little bit shifted, we can now jump between button one and two, three, and four, right? So between, you wouldn't be able to jump from button three into button four, because again, they're not overlapping, but from button one, you would be able. So th this is another example of same buttons in a widget. As you can see, they're not aligned vertically or horizontally. And only this button one and button three, they kind of like attaching each other vertically. And uh, in on a controller, you will be able only jump between button one and three and not button two and four. Only changing design of the UI, like position of the buttons, not sometimes a great idea. And maybe you want them to be like this. Maybe you have some reasons for that. So then, as we know, we can create these custom buttons you can add more space, like transparent space on the button. And what I mean by that is creating texture like this. It's not great because we have lots of transparency here. Usually when we're creating UI, we want like boundaries to be close to the button or any element you have for the UI. But in this case, we have lots of space. It doesn't need to be so much space. I just created this for demonstration. And what that means is like we can have our original button size of like that, but on the screen it will look like this small button. And because while it's still transparent, it's still button, it will align with another button and it will work on the controller. There is another example of working buttons. This is what I mean. So as you can see, like they position on the screen it's the same as this, guys, but all these lines represent original button. While on the screen, player will see only this button and hold this thing, it will be transparent. So again, I'm not changing design, but because of this, all of these buttons, they vertically overlap and not horizontally. But because of that verticality, uh, I can jump between button one, two, three, four, and my controller. So it's simple as that. And how to create custom buttons, you can see in my previous video, I will link in description. So I have in this pop-up dialog device, 
it's nothing special everything by default i just only put like censored full for alignment of my widget and i attached it to this trigger and i input it not working buttons widget and then for this one everything same is just only working button widget so now let's try it in the game so on the left as i said we have widget with only two buttons working as you can see like i'm trying to go left and i can switch to this button two or four so only button one and three is working and uh, in here we can switch between button one button two three and four i hope this video is helpful to you please press that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get notifications about future videos see you soon